Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers up to 1000 and we are going to do we are going to order the numbers in descending order. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. There we go. Right, now suppose we have these numbers. We've got 749, 831, 683, 647, 931. So those are our numbers. And the task we have is that we have to reorder these in descending order. First let's draw down the boxes that you would typically find when you have these types of questions. And at the top we're going to have the largest number and the at the bottom is the smallest. Right, let's have a look at our numbers then and you know the routine by now we're going to start with the digit on the left that's the hundreds column so let's write down how many hundreds there are in each number 749 has seven hundreds 831 has eight hundreds 683 has six hundreds 647 has six hundreds and lastly 931 has got nine hundreds we'll label it at the top as well so those are the hundreds now what do you notice about the numbers well the immediate thing is that two of the numbers are the same that is the six and the six the other three numbers seven eight and nine they're all different. So we can go through this and we can start filling the boxes just by looking at the hundreds. Now the largest is what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at 10 and count backwards. What number comes before 10? It is 9. There's a 9 over here. There is no other number which has got 9 at the beginning. This is the only one. So we can write this one down straight away at the top. Don't forget the top is the largest. So 931 goes at the top. Now what comes before 9? It is 8. We also have an 8 over here. And it is the only 8 in this list. So we can add this number in next. That is 831. Now what number comes before 8? Before 8 is 7. We also have a 7 as well. And it is the only 7 in this list. So we can write this one down next. 749. Now that's been nice and easy so far, hasn't it? So what number comes before 7? That is 6. And for 6, we've got 1 here and 1 here. So we've got two digits with 6. Now because they are the same numbers, we then have to now look at the next column, which is the tens. So let's do that now. We're going to take this across over here. How many, and let's write down tens over here. So how many tens are there in 683? That's this one here. It is eight. How many tens are there in the number 647? It's over here. It is 4. Now which of these two numbers is the larger number? Is it 8 or 4? Well that's nice and easy. It is 8. I, sorry, it is 8. So this number goes in next. That is 683. That just leaves one number left. 647. And there we have it. We have reordered the numbers from the largest to the smallest. And we've done that by looking at the hundreds, 
where we managed to fill in three boxes and then we had to look at the tens to fill in the last two boxes. It really is as simple as that.